Hello everyone, it's me Ilian and today I would like to make a review of the trading plan I shared with you last week. Since last week I wasn't able to share with you a review for the plan from the previous week, today we are going to look at both of those plans and see how they developed. We are not gonna go in a lot of details, I shared three life signals based on those two plans. Uh, one of them worked, uh, the other two failed unfortunately. But uh, in order to keep this video short, I'm going to make another video tomorrow uh, where we will dissect those three trades and uh, find where we uh, made some mistakes and uh, what we did good and what we did wrong in order for the trades to not work out. So without further ado, let's get started. What you currently see is the Euro Swiss Franc currency pair uh, trading plan, which was shared on TradingView on the 26th of November. This is a one hour trading plan. The idea here was a double scenario. Uh, we were expecting either a bounce from here and a drop to this first support area target one or to the second after that. Or uh, we expected a break of this zone of resistance, then a slight correction to it. Uh, which we, this zone will turn into a support and then a continuation of the uptrend all the way up to here. Let's see what happened. Okay, as you can see, we saw the bounce from here. It went actually further be beneath the first support area target one and then the, uh, the trend reversed and the price went back up to this zone of resistance and after that we saw, as you can see, a range between the two areas uh, and now we are here still inside of that range. Now turning on to the Euro Swiss franc, this is where our plan was published. Uh, just a few spots here. The first possible opportunity was at this candle after a spinning top was formed here and the end of this uh, small sort of an uptrend was finished. Uh, we had also a bearish engulfing and the price as you can see continued uh, further down. After that we had another opportunity after the break of this uh, square here. Although this was not a great spot since uh, this uh, support area uh, we were expecting a bounce from it. And then inside of the range of course, you could have sold the tops, bought the bottoms, again here, you can see here we had an opportunity, now here also, although this one, uh, depending on where you put your stop loss would have failed you, but we may see a reverse from here again. Now this is it regarding this plan, I'm gonna turn the other plan on, uh, it's based on the uh, Euro odd currency pair on the H4 time frame and it was posted on the 20th of November. Again, two possible scenarios for us, either a bounce from this H4 resistance, uh, drop until this H4 support, then a new wave up to this H4 resistance too, or uh, we were expecting a range between those two areas and probably a breakdown or a breakup. Let's see what happened. You can see this plan uh, developed very good. We actually saw the range here and then this support area was broken and the price reached the second support. It stopped for a while there and continued further down and from that point you can see uh, what a strong strong uptrend we saw. Uh, this is also caused by news so uh, let's just check out the uh, graph itself and see where we could have entered. Now first this is where the plan was posted. Um, I see a few opportunities here, first here if we are entering on the H4 of course, uh, if you go low on lower time frames you could find more uh, opportunities but here we had a bearish engulfing exactly at that resistance area. After that here on the support area we kinda had this uh, big box on the H4. Again we could have entered somewhere here after the break of it and then uh, we had actually another box here you can see on the H4. This is a strong range on the M30 and we could have entered again here. Now this uptrend was quite, uh, quite unpredictable. Uh, we should have closed our trades after this uh, bullish engulfing, strong bullish engulfing here or if you miss that spot, maximum here after the break of this small sort of consolidation we had. 
on the 30 minutes you we had a lot more opportunities but we are not gonna discuss them now uh, we are gonna make uh, the video tomorrow for our trades so I hope you managed to catch some of those moves on those two plans uh, there were there were some good opportunities and I hope you made some good profits see you tomorrow with a trade dissection video of our three life signals based on this plan